Colorado Mine Company wants permission to dump more potentially toxic chemicals right into the streams that supply your water. And tonight, Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is asking questions about the proposal and specifically what it means for you. Residents I talked with say they understand the value of the good paying jobs the mine provides, but they also understand the value of good quality water. Matt Wider works with fish. He's a fishing guide. As I put it, my coworkers, my trout, um, they need clean water. You know, clean water is, is, is paramount for any trout to live. He says the mine is beneficial because molybdenum is used to harden steel. The steel that we use in, in everyday applications from our cars to our boat trailers. Climax wants molybdenum standards raised from the current 210 parts per billion to 9,000 parts per billion. That's a pretty big jump to see, but as again, I know nothing about it. I couldn't even spell it. Jason Ward says he'd like to learn more about the impact of the metal that's hard to spell. State health officials say it's not a regulated contaminant. They're waiting for results of studies on the impact before making a decision. Denver Water says if the EPA decides to regulate molybdenum, they might have to spend a half billion dollars to expand water treatment plants. Wider, who says there are streams near other mines that don't have any fish, wonders what might happen if more molybdenum is allowed in 10 Mile Creek. It throws that big question mark up. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. So state health officials want you to know that as of now, nothing's changed. And a final decision 